Hey there, math students. I hope you're having a super great day. In this video, we're going to learn about commissions. So let me just kind of read this paragraph and summarize it. It says many employees are not paid by the number of hours they work. Their pay is based on the amount of sales they make. Some examples are real estate agents, stockbrokers, and people who sell cars. These people are paid commissions which is usually expressed as a percent. Now, some employees get a commission in addition to their regular salary. So the big thing here is commissions right here. And this is what it really means. The pay is based on the amount of sales that you make. So let's look at some problems that involve commissions. Let's look at this first one. It says Carl sells new cars at a local dealership. He receives a 15% commission on the profit each car is sold for. Last month, he sold a whopping three cars for a total of $6,200. Actually, I kind of misread that. It really should say he sold it. He, last month, he sold a whopping three cars for a total of $6,200 dealer profit. How much did he earn in commission? So let's go ahead and figure this out. Let's underline that final question. I want to know how much he earned in commission. So what I'm going to do is take 15% from right here. And I'm going to take 15% of the dealer profit, which was $6,200. In other words, I'm going to take 15% of this number of $6,200. And mathematics of a lot of times means multiplication. So I'm going to erase this of and put a time sign instead. And I'm actually going to do this part without a calculator. I want to show you how to deal with percentages without a calculator. So let me break this 15% down into 10% plus 5%. Let's think about this. 10% plus 5% is 15%. The reason I broke it down this way is 10% is really easy to work with. Let me show you. I'm going to take 10% of 6,200. And then I'll take 5% of 6,200. So here's how you take 10% of this number. You take the decimal, and there's really one not shown here. So when it's not shown, it's at the end of the number. And 10% always means to move the decimal back one place. So it'd be, it's right here. So this is really 620.0. And that's 10% of 6,200. It's 620.0. But you don't need to know that. You don't need to include that point zero. So I'll just leave it as 620. So another way to do it with this type of whole number here is if you want to take 10% of a number like this, just drop off one of the zeros goes away and just write 620. Now we should be able to take 5% of 6,200. Think about it. 5% right here is half of 10%. So I'll take half of this number or divide it by 2. So half of 620 is 310. In other words, 5% of 6,200 is 310. And I just add these two up. So 620 plus 310. Well, let's see. That is 0 plus 0 is 0. 2 plus 1 is 3. And 6 plus 3 is 9. So this is 15% of 6,200 is $930. So that's the answer right there. That's his commissions. That's how much he earned in commissions. Let's check this on the calculator. So what I'll do is I'll just, let me rewrite this again, 15% of 6,200. And to do this on a calculator, you need to change this percentage to a decimal. Now, percent, this percent symbol really means divide by 100. So if you take 15 divided by 100, you'll get 0.15. And you'll multiply that 0.15 times 6,200. And if you do this on the calculator, you will also get $930. Right here. Let's try another problem. Let's look at problem two. It says Lizbeth works at Broken Computers 
that have been somewhat restored to barely new. They, they need to change the title of that uh, company. Well, whatever. Let's move on. She receives a weekly salary of $300 plus 2% commission on her sales. Last week, she sold $12,000 of computer equipment. How much did Liz earn last week? So let's underline that. And let's pull out the important stuff for the important pieces of this problem. Let's see, it's right up here. So she earned $300 plus 2% commission on her sales. And this was her sales right here. So I'm just going to translate this stuff that's highlighted into math notation. So let's do that. So let's see, $300 plus, I'm going to need a little more room. Let me just bring this over. $300 plus 2% from here of the sales. So of the sales, and the sales is $12,000. And I'm going to change this up to a multiplication. So let's erase that and put a time sign. So hopefully you remember order of operations. You need to do the multiplication before the addition. So I'm actually going to put parentheses around here. And I'm going to take 2% of 12,000. Then I'll add the 300 on at the end. So this part here, I'm going to show you how to do without a calculator as well. Then we'll check it with the calculator. So 2% can be broken down into 1% plus 1%, right? Because 1% plus 1% is 2%. So I'm going to take 1% of 12,000. And then I'll take 1% of 12,000 again. Now, if you remember, when we took 10%, we dropped off one zero. When you take 1%, you actually drop off two zeros or move the decimal back two times. But let's just drop off two zeros here. So I'll drop off two zeros. Drop these off, and I'm left with 120. And then I'll drop off, I'll take 1% of 12,000 again. I'll drop off two zeros here, and that's 120. And I'll add these two up, and that'll be 2% of 12,000. So when I add 120 plus 120, I get 240. And then I need to add on this 300, right? I said I would do that on at the end, because that's the um, her weekly salary. So it's the 300 weekly salary plus the commissions from right here. So 300 plus 240. Let's do that over here. 300. That's her weekly salary plus her commissions of 240. That's going to be how much she earned last week. So let's add these up. That's 0. 0 plus 4 is 4. 3 plus 2 is 5. So she earned $540 last week. Okay, so let me just write that over here so we have our answer. I'll circle that, and then we'll do this on the calculator. Oops, I just erased what I wrote. That's all good. Let me erase this part for first. And remember, our answer is 540, so I'll write $540. And let's just do that on the calc real quick. So I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to write the 300 from here plus 2% times 12,000. And the way you do this is you'd bring down your 300 and you'd need to change 2% to a right here to a decimal. So here's how you do that. 2%. Let me do it right here. This is changing 2% to a decimal. There's always a decimal at the end. And when you want to get rid of the percent, you move the decimal back two places like this. That's how you drop off the percent without using a calculator here. It actually looks like a butt cheek. And I know that sounds silly, but I call this the butt cheek method. And it will help you remember how to get rid of a percent. You just move this back twice. You put a zero here. And my new decimal point is here. So this becomes 0 0.02 and you drop off the percent sign. So 2% is 0 0.02. Now, if you wanted to do this piece on a calculator, you take 2 divided by 100 and you'd get 0 0.02. And then you'll multiply that 0 0.02 times 12,000. 
and hopefully you have a scientific calculator. You punch this piece here, right here, into your calculator, and you will get 540. Let me clear this out. So in other words, on your calculator, if you punch in 300 plus 0.02 times 12,000, you will get $540 as well. Now, if you don't have a scientific calculator, you're going to need to do 0 0.02 times 12,000 first, and then add on the 300. So there you go. Two ways to do the problem. Let's go to the next question. It says here that Lizbeth quit her job at the computer store because she, because the owner would not change the name of the store. I don't know if that's a good reason to quit a job. Well, let's continue. She got a new job as a real estate agent. She earns 6.5% commission on each sale that she makes. Last month, she set a record by selling five houses for $2,530,000. She is so happy she quit her old job. I'm glad she's happy. What did Lizbeth earn in commissions for the month? So we need to take the commission, the percent, which is right here, 6.5% of the sales. So 6.5% of the total sales. So I'll write that down. 6.5% of the total sales, $2,530,000. Now, I'm not going to do this one um, without a calculator. The number is pretty large. We'll just use a calculator. But you could. You could break this 6% down into 1%, tack on a 0.5% and do it without a calculator. But for now, let's just go ahead and deal with this with the calculator. Erase the of and put a time sign. And you need to change 6.5% to a decimal so i'll do that over here 6.5 percent so we'll use the butt cheek method or you can just divide it by 100 on your calculator but let's use this method i move it back twice and my new decimal points here i put a zero here in this space and it becomes 0 0.065 and the percent drops off so that's how you write 6.5 percent as a decimal so it's 0.0 six five times two million five hundred and thirty thousand dollars and let's see how much she earned in commission for that month she did really well for herself so i'm going to punch this in the calculator it's 0 0.065 times two five three zero 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 and it's one hundred sixty four thousand four hundred and fifty dollars Not bad. No wonder she's happy she left her other job. $164,450 is the commissions that she earned for the month. Let's go to another problem. Two more to go. It says Timmy works at Luxury Travel. This lovely company pays its employees $15 per hour plus 8% commission on all trips booked. Timmy worked 12 hours last week and booked trips totaling to $3,200. What was his gross pay for last week? So let's underline this. The gross pay is the total pay. And I'm going to use just a calculator for this, but although this can be done without a calculator as well. So let's underline the important stuff here. $15 per hour plus 8% commission and the total sales are $3,200. So let's write that down. $15 per hour and let's see what else we got plus from right here plus eight percent of the sales of the sales of three thousand two hundred and let's just put some math symbols in here so fifteen dollars per hour i'll bring down the fifteen Per is another word that usually means times in math. Well, replace the per with times and the hours worked. What were his total hours worked? Well, hopefully you see that right here. That's 12 hours. So I'll replace the hours worked with this 12. So times 12 plus 8% and 8% is 0 0.08. If you use that method, I 
used last time is 0.08 of his times $3,200. And we just need to punch this into a calculator and we're done. Again, let me just go over 8%, right? There's really a decimal right here and you just move it to the left twice and it becomes 0 0.08 or on your calculator you can go 8 divided by 100. So if you have a scientific calculator, you just punch this in straight as you see it. So I'm going to go 15 times 12 plus 0.08 times $3,200. And that's $436. So that's how much he earned. That was his gross pay last week. I'm going to punch that in one more time. I feel like I made a mistake. I'm having trouble seeing my calculator. 15 times 12 plus 0.08 times 3200. Yes, it's $436. So that's his gross pay. And if you don't have a scientific calculator, what you'll need to do, if you just have like a real simple calculator, you'll need to do the 15 times 12, write down what that is. Then do the 0.08 times 3200, write down what that is, and then add the two together. Okay, where are we here? We have one more problem to go. Let's give this a shot. It says that Bernard sells boring magazine subscriptions by telephone. Wow, that sounds like fun. He receives 12% of the first $2,000 and 20% on the balance over $2,000. Last month, he sold $5,000 worth of boring magazine subscriptions. What was his commission for last month? So let's underline that final question. We want to know his commission. And this is a little trickier. I'm going to highlight the important stuff here. So it's 12% of the first 2,000 and 20% of anything over 2,000. And he sold a total of 5,000 worth of merchandise or of boring magazines, I should say. So let's break down this $5,000. So for the first 2,000, he gets 12%. So I'm going to break this down into the first 2,000. He'll get 12% of this. And then I'm going to break the other piece down into 3,000. Because what I'm thinking in my head is 5,000 is how much over 2,000? Well, it's $3,000 over 2,000. Or what I did is you can subtract 5,000 minus 2,000 to give you 3,000. In other words, when I add these two up, 2,000 plus 3,000, I get 5,000. And what this says is he gets 12% of commissions on the first 2,000 and anything over that, the, in other words, the 3,000, he gets 20% commission. So I'm going to take 12% times 2,000 like so. And 12% right here is 0.12. So he gets 12% on the first 2,000 plus anything over, he gets 20%. So on this 3,000, he gets 20% from right here, which is 0 0.20. So we're going to multiply all of the, We can actually enter this whole thing into a calculator. So let me do that. What I'm going to do is go 0.12 times 2,000 plus... 3,000 times 0 0.20. Now, I could, the order that you do this, I can actually, instead of putting 3,000 times 0 0.20, I can put 0 0.20 times 3,000. When, when you multiply, the order doesn't matter. That's why I have the 0.20. It's kind of in a different spot than I usually put it when I'm dealing with percent. So let me punch this in. 0.12 times 2,000 plus 0 0.20 times 3,000. And that's going to be $840. So that is how much Bernard made last month, $840. And again, if you were to do this on a non-scientific calculator, you'd have to do this part, multiply these two together, and write it down, and then multiply these two together, write it down, and then add them together. And again, this can be done in without a calculator as well, but I'm not going to get into that for this particular problem. Well, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a better understanding of how to calculate
commissions. Have a super great day.